How's it going guys? I'm Jack and welcome back to Good Company. We are playing the campaign mode, doing every single level, getting every single trophy and today we are continuing with level 5 and starting work on the third trophy. Go check out my channel for the previous two videos where we play through the first two trophies on this level and also if you do enjoy city building, simulation and management games be sure to subscribe and press the like button as it really does help out. Now this trophy I've had so much trouble with uh, so much trouble in fact that this is a different save file to the two previous videos so if you are following along what I've done I've when I was editing the previous two videos I literally placed I was playing this at the same time and placed every single table exactly in the same place so it's the same I've let the game run a bit just to build up a little bit of cash but there's a few things we need to address first first of all this area is running out of DC motors which is not good enough uh, we're making like this here however we're going to need to double the amount so let's put let's start with some basic workbenches and put those down uh, before we do that though we need to check the market tab because to do the previous objective we had to change the prices and stuff however we are not producing we weren't producing 10 a week so i'm just going to put that down to like uh six a week i think that's fine and that one's fine as well uh just be um just keep an eye on the market tab because the markets can change it tells you actually in the rewards here when the markets do change so you've got to keep your eye on that all the time uh so yeah let's get the dc motors and uh, like another another like a dc motor little area going and we're actually going to move uh this shelf here uh no this shelf to there that shelf there and that one to there okay and then we're going to link up that shelf to these two and that's going to double that's going to double the amount of dc motors we're making it's a very quick fix and i don't know why i didn't do it in the first place I'm not gonna lie <laughs> that's gonna massively change the output of this as well uh, so we will come back and look at the markets again in a sec when that's all up and running so we need to craft for this one at least 20 quadruple battery stack modules per week now this is this is the thing i was having trouble with um i tried buying this building and building in here however it's just a pain how conveyor belts work and stuff at the moment it's a it's an absolute pain getting the raw materials over to a different building because this if you have a look at it doesn't have um, an incoming zone which is absolutely amazing uh, I thought it did have an incoming zone because it had like said it had that but apparently that's meant to be like one or is that that's a, meant to be a number there if it's got one uh, so we're gonna have to make some space somewhere and we're gonna do that by moving everything down literally squeezing everything up uh, it's like an Amazon warehouse in here Amazon please don't please don't come get me I didn't mean that <laughs> so we're gonna need uh, chemistry tables and let's have a look what we're making the quadruple battery stack so I've been researching while I let the game run to build the cash up uh, researching stuff and so we'll, we'll probably research the whole tech tree we I doubt we'll need everything but uh, we'll do it just for prosperi prosperity <laughs> I don't think that's the right word for that but it is what it is right so this needs double battery stacks chemicals and plastic parts so we are we're actually making plastic parts over there and we're making a lot of them in fact all of these have been all of these have been uh, backed up so we're actually going to change the we'll change the bandwidth on each of the cases here just so they have more places to put cases um, so yeah let's get this let's just get this let's let's focus <laughs> let's just focus uh, so I put the wrong table down there we need chemistry table making the double battery stacks and that needs uh, single battery stacks here so single battery stack there we go um, we need to make 20 a week so one table is not going to cut it uh, this chemistry table makes the quadruple battery stack in 10 seconds and these make the double and single stacks in four seconds so there's basically enough for two if I've done the quick maths <laughs> then uh, two and a half tables uh, you can get out of these if that makes any sense whatsoever uh, so we're gonna just arrange them like this uh, this is the most space efficient 
it's tight. Look at that, it's tight, but it, it works. So quadruple, quadruple, we'll do the double battery stack there and the single battery stack there. Let's get a medium shelf down and what actually as well, just for the objective, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna, oh, oh, picked up the wrong thing. I'm gonna pick uh, put a big shelf there. It's, it's getting a bit tight, isn't it guys? Uh, so, let's start off with making the single battery stack, plastic, metal and chemicals. We may need to order chemicals in. Yes, we do. And also saying that we may need to order some more materials in. So, chemicals uh, and metal and plastic. Yeah, so that's going to need everything. Um, that needs plastic parts, which we'll get from over here. There we go, plastic parts and chemicals, plastic parts, chemicals. Yeah, all right, so this should, I say should, it should be, should be cooking. And from there, the quadruple battery sacks are just gonna go onto there. Uh, let's see if we've got a logistics point in range of it. I doubt we have, but uh, we'll put the that logistics slot there. So that covers the incoming zone, that medium shelf, and that shelf as well. And let's get let's get someone on there. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye on how much material we're using. Uh, but for now, this should be good enough. Let's just hire those quickly. Um, so after this objective, it's going to change the market phase of both of these. So. The products we're selling, they're gonna be a little bit outdated, but I think we can still sell them just at a lower price. However, we're gonna to have to update our products pretty rapidly to keep in profit. Now, I, I would have liked to keep the game running until like I had like a one, like 150,000. Just gives you a good buffer, but um, we, we'll, we'll deal with that when we deal with it, okay? <laughs> um, it might be, have I got anyone on battery stacks? Double battery stacks, I think I have. Yeah, I have. So up to eight per week. Um, while we're at it, uh, let's have a look at the actual last objective. 20 units of any product per week with 10% uh, with battery life of at least one. So we're actually making, we are making 10 a week here, which is amazing. Uh, so we can just incorporate batteries into this design. And it looks like we are now making 10 10 a week of this as well you can there's no real way of telling i just count how many people how many things are on the outgoing zone and that's that's how i tell what we're making so yeah the dc the dc motors really made a change to it um so the new design for the um for the robot on that is going to have to include the battery stacks so actually let's let's start designing them now uh, we've got the deliver boy we're just going to duplicate that design and edit it and just put a, a quadruple battery stack because we are making those and that is rubbish <laughs> that's got a market appeal of 0.5 however it says we only have to produce them so we will um what we'll do hey what case are we using there are we using we're using the enhanced case. Ah, that's that's fine. We can, we just need to be able to make them quick. So we'll go with that design there. Uh, to sell them, we'll lower the price. That's absolutely fine. Oh, we need to change it. So this is gonna be the deliver, the deliver boy max power because it's now it's now it's actually got a battery in it. Right. So let's finish that design. Absolutely fantastic. Now these guys, I don't know why they are running out of stuff let's have a think they shouldn't be running out of stuff where is the double battery stack being made so plastic parts are we getting we're getting everything over there maybe it just needs to like balance out a little bit see we're actually making loads of those Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that's that's happening. 
but uh, that is what it is. It is what it is. Unless we put another, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, we're running out of plastic parts over there as well. And we're running out of plastic. Okay, this is what we need to do then. Let's increase metal and plastic delivery. That should help out with stuff. I say that like I know what I'm doing, um, but <laughs> we will, uh, we'll, we'll see, won't we? That might, that might, that might just be it, you know? That might just be it, but. Uh, let's get designing the next um, the next thing the the cleaning robot. So we need to fit a first of all we need to duplicate it. We need to fit a, a battery in that, which is a funky a funky shape, obviously. So let's move that up, and that will fit in. No, that won't fit in, but this will. There we go. Now that's got a good market appeal, so we're gonna we're gonna build this first. The clean boy, um, let's call that the clean boy Ener energy, the clean boy energy, the hot new product. So yeah, we're gonna make this first when we when we get to the actual uh, when we get to the actual thingy. I'm really confused why this is not why it's not actually making these stacks very like quick enough um you know what i'm gonna do actually that's i've got a very good idea i'm gonna this worker on this bench uh where is he or the workers on on one of the benches this one here we're just gonna delete that delete him for a second and i'm gonna let uh battery stacks stack up on here if that makes sense so one, two, so yeah, now we've got like enough. Well, we haven't got enough yet, but I'm just gonna let that stack up to the max. And then I'm set him to assign it and that should set him to make it. And then that should, uh, uh, what's it, what's it McCauled? It should, it should, it should sort out. Uh, so how many is on there now? 10. 11 so if we make it if we do if we wait till that's 20 uh they can just smash them out in a week can't they the whole 20 absolutely amazing so this isn't actually making us any money at the moment uh, which is fine um we are selling we are selling loads of these look at that let's go on the market tab see if we can shift a few more let's put it down to like 30 35 and the cleaner bot. Uh, we'll keep we'll keep that on on that. Okay. Let's come back to this. So maybe the way to do it. Right. So we've got twenty. Maybe the way to do it is just have two tables set up to start with, and then uh, then get the guys. Oh, there he is. There he is. Don't run away. Don't run away. There we go. Then get the third guy making them, and this should shoot up. So six. Oh, now what? Okay, let's put. Okay, they have nowhere to put the actual pl uh, the battery, so let's put the bandwidth up on that, and we need to put bandwidth up on that as well. Okay. That's where it got backed up. Okay, that's again. It's just one of those little logistics things that you need to kind of like keep an eye on so here they are them they're motoring we researched uh, the large compartment I think we may be running out of chemicals so let's just order some more chemicals as well 15 14 we've still got yeah we've got loads of battery sacks in there it should just it should be having any second there we go absolutely fantastic so let's quickly do that so the market phases have increased now so as you can see the deliver boy 1000 now potential sales are three which is awful so let's get that we just need to we just need to shift them really so let's go down to 65 percent we're probably not making a profit on that but that's fine the clean boy max as well which is our high seller is now only potential sales two so 
let's do minus 40% on that. Um, we're in the red massively now. However, we have our we have our brand new designs, which is what we like. So we can quickly and easily, you know what? We're going to change this to uh, this is going to be the Deliver Boy Max Power, isn't it? Yep, and that's going to have the batteries coming from there that we are making. Link those back up need to get these deliver boy max powers out of out out the way now I think we're gonna have a problem with just product just stacking up here so we're gonna put stuff in the trash <laughs> uh, so let's put from here the deliver boy 1000 goes into the trash if we can if we can do that Oh no, we can't. Hang on. I thought we could do that. Maybe not. Maybe not. From here though, the Deliver Boy 1000 can go into the trash. <laughs> um, and these guys should be making... If we've got... Hang on. If we've got um, a logistics point that covers this, which we do, let's hire some more people though just to go on this logistics slot so we'll be moving the batteries around they should be getting batteries any minute now so we've got um we've got deliver boys stacked up here and they're going straight into the ah we want them to go straight into the bin we don't want them we don't want them to go onto the well, we can for now until we start making these. Okay, so we actually start. We've actually started making them now. So uh, let's get logistics open. That the liver boy one thousand now just goes straight to the trash. The max power now that goes onto there. Uh, let's just shift all of these, and we need to sell a lot of these as well. So. I think we'll be making about 10 a week if if we are doing it properly um, so it's on 8 a week at the moment and that's because they're getting backed that's because they're getting backed up here okay again we need to change the logistics on this that deliver boy 1000 now is obsolete let's put that up like that run it forward and now they've got places to put it absolutely amazing we do need to bring batteries over to this side and get production up and running on here uh, what are they they're deliver boy 1000s we need to we need to manually delete the trash which is a bit annoying but we will uh, deal with it when it when it happens so when the when the the new model comes down they should it should go onto the outgoing zone like straight away we'll just stand here for a little bit until that happens so where that is going okay so that's the that's the new model okay fantastic and while we're at it we're going to change the, the uh, bandwidth as well for this so every slot is available for the deliver boy right let's start building another conveyor belt so we're going to put the roller band there we do actually need more conveyor parts which we've got we've got loads of down here absolutely fantastic so let's get the conveyor belt going uh, it's going to come from up here it's going to go down here and connect to there and we're going to put batteries on that uh, let's go logistics the batteries from here split off to go to there and now uh, the batteries is is so confusing hang on the batteries are going to there and then these are going to be swapped to make the the clean boy energy isn't it uh, and we just have to reconnect these logistics links up uh, that's to there that's to there Clean boy energy. Oh, 
What's that got? Yeah, that's got all the slots. So we need to put the clean boy energy on there. And from there as well. Oh. From there to there. Again, we could probably just move these to the trash, but we'll see how this goes. And hopefully we'll be making enough per week. So these are going 10 to the dozen here. And they're only doing seven a week? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I'm saying this like it's gonna work. Maybe this can just push it up to, oh, okay, it's making 10 a week. May, oh, actually, 12, hang on. This, 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 this is actually gonna work. Cannot believe it. So our first lot of batteries are coming down. Uh, it's not a very efficient route to get to the conveyor belt. And I'm actually just gonna hire some more employees to get on that. Just to, just to get these batteries shipping. And now they're running out of plastic parts. We're doing, we're moving a lot of stuff around. Have we got, um, what is actually on this? You know what? We will move, uh, directly from this shelf will go to there and to there. And then that means we can delete, uh, that shelf there, uh, delete that one. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, I only put that shelf there to show the objectives. Um, oh, we're making like 17 a week of that. Oh, wow. Oh, no, hang on. We've got, we've got these up here as well. And again, the logistics slots are full up. So, clean boy energy. Uh, delete that. Now, put those up like that. Okay, this... Um, <laughs> this should be it. Should. Should be it. Um, but we'll see. We're lo still losing money, which is fine. But if we if we actually sell, if we start selling selling those, that would be useful, wouldn't it? That would give us that would give us the money in. Um, it's so easy to forget, literally, some of the uh, like just one logistics thing, and it can really grind to a halt. So you've got batteries coming over here now, which is good. We've only got one person on there. I'm actually going to hire someone on that one. Oh, we don't need to. We've done it. CEO TV with golden so, gossip from the business world. Thank you for watching, guys. If you did the enjoy the video, then remember to employees. press the like button as it really does help out. If you enjoy city building, simulation, and management games, then be sure to subscribe. Any questions, suggestions, or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. And as always, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one.